to ZMN trades. Now, this video is going to be all about order blocks, how ICT actually uses order blocks to his advantage really cutting through the fluff of his videos and summarizing um, in a very short form how to take advantage of order blocks and not be stopped out like retail traders um, and after this video you can apply this uh, technique straight away to become profitable it's going to be two different types of order blocks we're going to have the bearish order block and we're going to have the bullish order block now we need to understand the two different uh, characteristics of each of them so we can actually use them to apply it onto a large live chart now a bearish order block is going to be the last up close candle within the most recent swing low. So this uh, illustration demonstrates perfectly. As we see here, we've got the most recent swing low. Um, now the most recent, um, the last up close candle within this swing low is going to be where we draw our order block in which we get the retracement and move lower. Now on a bullish order block is going to be the opposite. So the last down close candle within the most recent swing high is going to be where we draw our order block. So as we've got here, we've got our most recent swing high. We've got um, our last down close candle here in which we draw our area. We get that retracement and then we get that move away. So order blocks um, as an execution technique is going to be used on lower time frames such as the 5 and the 15 minute. Now, this is a very key feature of an order block that actually makes it a lot more probable. So the most probable order blocks are those that are followed by a fair value gap. Now, what is a fair value gap? It's simply an imbalance of price. When an order block is left behind after an imbalance of price, this is where you need to pinpoint your eyes to. These are going to be the order blocks that are, you are going to take most advantage of and which ICT actually teaches within his teachings. Now, we're actually going to put all of this into live uh, action now. Um, and hopefully you guys can actually take away from this and put it straight to your trading. Um, I spent thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds on actual courses and mentorship where my mentors have actually taught me every single aspect of each technique which I'll be posting on my YouTube channel on a much more concise form and totally for free. So as we come over onto the actual live chart, we're in our uh, execution time frame such as the 15 and the five minute. Now, we've made a new low which shows that we are looking for sales. Bearish, uh, the bears are in control, right? I want you guys to pause this video. So we're gonna be looking at the, the bearish order block, the characteristic which is the last up close candle within the most recent swing low. Pause the video here and try to identify where the order block within this trade it actually is. So I'm going to give you a few minutes, just literally pause it, have a look, and try to test yourself on the knowledge that I've already taught you. So yes, guys, now that you're actually back. So high, low, higher, high, lower, low. Where's the most recent swing low? This is the swing low. Where is the last up close candle? Here. And another tip is if there is two back to back candles, which um, two up close, you can use both of them as your area uh, as an order block. So now we've identified our order block, we've had our swing low. We simply just wait for a retracement into our, our area. As you can see here, we've had our retracement. This is exactly where we would actually look to enter. As soon as we get price tapped into here, we'll have our, uh, our stop loss just above this order block and targeting obviously either the low or a new low, wherever you wanna target. We're gonna be targeting this structural level, which is this low, I want this low to get tapped into. We've actually entered off our order block, and now simply what we do is just let it play out. And as you can see here, TP will get smashed through. Very, very, very simple concepts of order blocks on lower time frames. Such a simple, simple, simple concept that will take your trading to the next level. Now let's have a look at a uh, bullish order block. Order blocks. What's the characteristic of a bullish order block? The last down close candle within the most recent swing high. So here we've had a new high created. Again, pause the video, try to identify yourself where the next order block is before I actually tell you guys. So pause it now, take a few minutes just to identify, just to see if you're right. Yes guys, so now that you're actually back, have a look, so low, so we've got we've got our, we've got our low, high, lower low, higher high, right? Where's the most recent swing high? This is the most recent swing high. Where is the last down close candle? This red candle here. Perfect. So that's going to be our area of an order block. Draw that out in time. Now we know where price has to come into, where we're actually going to look to execute. And remember what I mentioned: most probable order blocks are those that follow a fair value gaps so of a level of imbalance. So See this candle here, straight imbalance. There's only buying offered in here. There is no selling offered within this candle. 
Why? Look, look, look between it. Look, look at the gap between this candle and the candle after. There is only buying now. That is imbalance left after an order block. Perfect. This order block is now probable, very, very, very probable. So what we're going to wait for is price to actually tap in. Price is now tapped in. We're going to look to execute. Obviously, TP be wherever you want. I normally put out the high. Uh, stop loss just below the order block. As you can see here, one to seven risk to reward ratio. TP gets smacked. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, guys. Very, very informative, very short, concise, straight to the point. Hope this helped. Um, go put it straight to use into your trading and just see your trading game elevate to the next level.